won't be bitch, be Russian. Guys, Dan the Wolfman here. I'm going to talk to you about a little style of loose boxing. Okay, shout out to FPS Russia, guys. I like watching stuff blow up. I love shooting and all that. Okay, we're going to talk about loose boxing. I call it Sistema or Stockton Street Boxing. Give me a shout out to Nate and Nick Diaz. What they've been able to do to great boxers, what Nick did and BJ Penn's amazing. What Nate just did to a great Muay Thai kickboxer and Cowboy Cerrone is awesome. Getting in his face, taking his space, doing a high output because you're relaxed. And that's what you can do with this loose punching style. Speaking of which, you watch Russian street fight videos. They're knocking each other out with punches, you know, so guys, the people that self-defense experts that say you only gotta do palm strikes, that you can't punch someone, that's ridiculous. You've already been defeated in the street. Of course, if I can close and spear in the elbow and knee and keep it at close range grappling, headlocks, uh, catch wrestling style, stand up, guillotines, I'll do that. But if it's at a distance fight, you got to be willing to punch or you already lost the fight because trust me a bunch of thugs on the street have no qualms about breaking their fist on your skull you can't be worried about breaking your fist okay so loose style it's about taking space look at my cobra punch video look at my defense to jab videos i show a lot of different things you can do but what i'm talking about is loose is you can either start in here like peak loose style i call it portal defense like you're looking through a portal or you can be loose once you got your body movement down here and you're just you're moving your pepper in, walking forward, and your body weight's behind some of the stretch. You're doing long punches to the stomach, down like this. Okay, it's very it's longer than it looks. Deceptive, and then in a Russian long run. Cross, 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 Russian long run. Bah, 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 bah. And you're moving in, and you're walking through the guy. You're hitting him at odd angles because you're some, you, could, you can even flare your elbows out, keep your chin down. The guy jabs against you, you walk through it. Take the jab against your forehead. Old bare knuckle boxing tricks. Okay, break his hand on your forehead. Good for MMA too. We spar this about 65 to 70 percent, no gloves and mouth guards, even hitting the head. Can't do that today because my nose just broke last week again. But um, or MMA gloves, you can go a little harder than like the Japanese MMA style, like how they train. So go like 75 percent, 80 percent with MMA gloves, 65, 70 percent without. But you get used, but you slow it down a little bit, bare knuckle the head, but hit full of the body. Okay, but in here you can do portal defense, do karate flick defense against the jab, I have a video on that, jab, jab, cross, cover against the hook, you can sometimes get an elbow crank standing, Christian come in here and say, hey, against the jab look, I can deflect him and move him off side, okay, and the jab again, okay, and then I took his face and I went in, flush it again, jab again, okay, so I'm just saying, look, these are things to mix up in the fight. It's a different style than the Dutch kickboxing style I try to emulate mostly. Okay, but it's loose like Nate Nick Diaz do, Fabio Maldonado did in the UFC, great body punchings, and old Fedor and the new Fedor with that looseness, especially in the ground and pound right minute. Okay, for the Russian long punch. Okay, I can jab again. We'll loosen here. Okay, one, two. Okay, see it deflected his body. So I can flick here. One, two again. And see that cross went straight across his head. I can enter there with a hammer fist to the nose, break his nose, or cross into a bridge and work in here. One, two, again. See how easy that takedown was? So you can mix with these boxing in with your wrestling, catch wrestling style. Here, I flick him off balance, I throw him across, and then I cut across his hips and do a blast double. Chopping at an angle across the hips, very easy double leg. Right there because you're working with angles. Okay? So in here you can go flick, use your forehead, and then when you loosen up, start moving around, moving around, moving around, pushing long hooks, pepper pepper, walk through the punches. Because every time Donald Cerrone was trying to reset, right before he thought about kicking, except for the cut kicks that were awesome. Uh, Nate Diaz was in his face. Okay, here's one, uh, one, two, three. Here. And then sometimes you end up with standing elbow crank and then some type of head manipulation to throw him to the ground with the elbow crank or trip his leg out with a knee bump. And we tie stuff. I'm just a little bit. I'm just still getting to his body a little bit. Okay, so we're out here. Now, Christian's very tough. He's 15, but he's going to have confidence from this guy. You guys out there giving me stuff like, why are you hitting that guy in the body? Because I can take it and he's conquered his fear, so when he starts with Muay Thai smokers, he's not going to have fear of being hit. You can take my hits from 230, okay? So, you know, the Russians ain't going to complain, and old school Americans ain't going to complain either, okay? But I only go to the level that my students can. He can take the hits. 
I'm not going that deep, guys. But. Okay. Now we can't be going to the head right now, and he can't be going back to me because I have a broken nose. But that's just showing you how you can be loose and open up. This one, Jack. You can take it on your forehead. Okay? Boom. Nick did it against uh, BJ Penn. It's old, old school bare knuckle brawling, guys. This is stuff you can do on the street. Give me a jab again. You can have a cut elbow with bare knuckle. Okay, when well, you're loose, you can do lots of things. Jab. Give me a full power jab. Okay, I can goon team destroy the bicep. Like in Cali, they're going to slap here, and bicep here, and then right here. But by being loose, you can do it. You can also defend with the shoulders. Okay, against crosses, against big hooks. You defend, and you get your strokes. Throw something over here. Okay, throw something over here. Shoot! <laughs> okay, so. Shoulder rolling is a lot, and then once you get your head moving, your body moving up, we go on in. Okay, I wish we could go on the face right now, we can't. We'll do a little bit of body boxing to show how I can use loose style. And how you can intercept, redirect, and defend punches with punches. Okay, so I use either stay portal defense tight in here, or I go loose and do piston punches, okay, and work weird angles. It's already halfway to target, you don't expect, you expect this, you don't expect this, you don't expect these weird shovel punch, Four, weird three, angles at all two, time, angle familiarization. So you see a little bit there. Wait a minute. Give me a jab again. Yeah. You can do this one too. Okay, so do some time down here. Use my forehead and jab. Two grips and go into the game. Okay, right, 10 more seconds. Okay. 